doesn't love chicken. How about unlimited chicken? But no, I'm the gravy for ya. But let me bet, after you eaten a thousand chicken, you'd love to eat vegetables again. So guess what we're going to do? No, not a bamboo farm. You're not a panda. Well, probably you are. But we are going to make a fully automatic chicken farm. Dig a one by one by two hole. Place your chest. Connect your hopper to your chest. Place stone slab on top. This is going to be our looting mechanism. Dispenser facing the stone slab and the hopper connected to it. Add another slab on top and more stone slab around the block that the dispenser is facing. Glass here so you would see the incineration process of the chicken you'd eat later on. Add more glass on top but let's do the redstone part first. The comparator would detect any item inside the hopper. And the repeater which would strengthen the signal of our comparator. Now connect it by redstone to the side of our comparator. Place any block beside the dispenser. Add the repeater facing it. Connect it to our existing redstone. And yeah, we're almost done. It's time to add our glass. More slab here and here. Add the lava which would fry our tasty chicken without the need of oil. Hashtag healthy living. Then it's the hardest part. You'd have to patiently fill this container with chicken via egg as it is the fastest way. To test our machine, simply drop some eggs on the container and the dispenser should crack it all on your incineration area. The baby chickens will not be incinerated yet, which is a great thing as they don't have drops. However, when they grow up, the heat box also grow taller, causing them to be killed by the lava and you getting the loot. You get a 12.5% chance of hatching a baby chicken from an egg. So if you have around 50 adult chicken inside your machine, that would give you around 37.5 to up to 75 cooked chicken per hour. For feathers, it's a little bit tricky to calculate, but you get around 0 to 300 per hour. My name is Lonely Spare. Goodbye!